<laughs> I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're, we're filled, filled to, to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our Chica Chica, Chica, Chica update, update in, in the, the Philippines. Philippines. And we are here in the field. We're actually out behind Cindy's house, Cindy's parents' house. Yeah. That this is a field she used to play in when she grew up, and these are the views that she had growing up. Yep. <laughs> that about half a mile that way is the ocean. Correct. So, we will just give you an update, guys. It's been like a week that we did not upload the video because guess what? Someone got food poison. Out of five people in the house, four got food poison. Yeah, four got sick. That, uh, uh, about a week ago, we had to run into a neighboring town yeah. to get some stuff, and we swung into the public market. <laughs> Got tempted. And uh, the dealer came up and was offering free samples of the lechon, and yeah, it, it did. It tasted friggin' awesome. It was yeah. really good flavor. The lechon bubbly. Ah, uh, and she asked, "Do you want some?" And I, yeah. And later on, she told me they never get lechon baboy from market. market. We always cook. There's it. a reason why. Yeah. Ah. Lessons learned. So. But uh, yeah, the you pop and I had lunch there. Yeah. And got some rice to go with it, and uh, I got a soda, and you and Papa got some cold water. Yeah. And Papa, because of the health issues he's been going through, had a little bit of the lean meat. And the lean meat was a little bit tough. Yeah, and he spit it out. Uh, and then we brought the leftovers home for dinner. Yep. And everybody loved the flavor of it, but the next morning... Me and Mama have our stomach ache. Our, yeah, her and Mama were... that We took a trip up to the mountains to uh, investigate some property. Yeah. And we were following someone up, so we, we didn't stop, but we noticed a few places. We kind of like to stop and take some pictures. Yeah. And... On the way back, we stopped once, and Cindy was saying, Mama needs to get home. She needs the restroom badly. Yeah, and then so we uh, stop. We drop off Mama, and then we go back to the place, get water. And then I said, oh, I need something. I, I need also to get <laughs> my stomach too, so we head home. And then about 8, 12 hours later, uh, Uncle Utik and I yeah, you have the same problem. came down with the, the same thing, that it, but it, and it lasted. And, about five days. Uh, yeah. Except for Dudong. I don't know what. what yeah, her, her younger brother is the only one that didn't, that he had a bunch of it and he never, never faced him in the least. So. Yeah. So, lesson learned. Yeah, don't get, don't get legit by boy at, at a public market unless you really know the vendor well. Yeah. We, it's an unexpected trip too. And guess what? Someone got a haircut. <laughs> so, it's unexpected to get haircut. Yeah, when we were at uh, the public market, Papa saw a couple barbers and made comment that he needed a haircut. So somebody convinced me it was time to get a haircut. After 10 months. Yeah, it was it, it was like 200 and some days. 295 days. That uh, January 22nd to uh, November 10th or 12th, something like that. Yeah. So <laughs> it was interesting. But... Uh, after that, we went shopping and got all kinds of stuff for the yeah, house. We, went to we got hardware stuff because Papa needed a hose for our sink, and Papa did actually see. We it. Did, we're doing a, a, a house project, extended house project, kitchen project. <laughs> that they're they're building their 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 dirty kitchen out the outside. They're rehabbing, yeah, renovating it, and we got them a little sink unit. Yeah. And he needed to get one of the flexible hoses, uh, where I've seen them used in the U.S. is like on the toilet seats, on the toilet valves, yeah. uh, from the from the wall to the toilet. Uh, a lot of the faucets underneath will have them, and he needed that style to, to hook it up. Yeah. And the ironically, the the larger hardware store didn't have one. That was the it was little the, rinky dink hardware shop here in Sabunga that had one for him. Uh, <laughs> But uh, the, the the one in, in the, the city had, had a bunch of different styles. They just didn't have the right size. Yeah. 
So after that we went to the market, supermarket to get some grocery shopping because we bought a lot for a lot of stuff for Mama and Papa in the for kitchen. Then, yeah, because we bought them a, 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 a new gas burners, burners the, yeah. the, the double burner stove. Yeah. And uh, we're going to get them some propane today. Yep. And Papa built the stands and everything for that. We're, we're going to try, we try, it's a small enough project, trying to get video of it just wasn't yeah. great. And so we try to get a little bit each day. Yeah. And, and there's a few days that we missed. But, uh, We'll see the we're, finished we're gonna try project. and put together a finished product video. Yeah, because we bought also rice dispenser buckets for the rice. We oh yeah, bought, we bought cookware for the uh, stove. Yeah, pots and you know, so Mama was so happy about that. And what else did we? Yeah, we bought. We really we spent quite. <laughs> yeah, we spent a bit more money than we expect. We're yeah. still in that kind of setup phase. Yeah. But we're setting up Mama and Papa's house. So, yeah. And we're we're trying to make their life a little bit easier. Easy and comfortable and feel valued. That's the word. So, you know, that, that's kind of where we're at in that one. But, uh, yeah. And then after that, um, yes, the following day we went to the mountain, right? Yeah, that there was some property that uh, Dong and Papa wanted to take a look at. But, we yeah. were kind of thinking about because it was really inexpensively priced. Yeah, and it's like twenty. It, it turned out there was a reason why it was so inexpensively priced. The, yeah, it, the road is not good, and then it's thirty minutes away from the town, and it just. Yeah, you're a mile or two past where the road ends, basically. Yeah, and it's it's scary. Then the last hundred yards, you're you're on a goat path, literally. Yeah. Ah. Uh, getting into it so and it does not have direct road access yeah and plus it's on the mountain yeah. it, uh, it, it's a pretty steep plot of land yeah I like here because here in mama's place because we're just like less than five minutes away from the downtown we have 7-eleven we have Prince we have Goldilocks if you want cake we have public market we have no, Papa saying the uh the property of Malai Bala is about the same. Like that too. So it's like two kilometers. So, so it, it's, you know, that it's two kilometers is what, about a mile, mile, and, mile yeah. and a quarter from yeah. you know, downtown area. But since we don't have the chance to go there, so my well Yeah, just... we're still waiting on that one. It, things were starting to open back up in here Monday or so. Yeah, we don't know. Cebu but... basically closed back down. That if you're not in Cebu, if you don't have a really good reason, you know, doctor's appointment, whatever. You You're go. not getting into Cebu right now. Yeah, you need a certain nerve from uh, here. Matter of fact, my dental appointment was Monday and we canceled it because of being sick. Yeah. And it's probably just as well because we would have took off without realizing a lot of hassle and everything. How, how much hassle it was to get into town. Yeah. Uh, we've got an appointment for next Wednesday to go back and pick up my dentures. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be relaxed, but and the off chance that it is in Monday, Tuesday, we're gonna yeah. gather barangay paperwork and stuff like that to get in just to be safe. Yeah. And then what else? Um, oh, since you got sick for a few days, the other day we went to go swimming. Oh, the <laughs> yesterday, day before that, I was starting to finally feel a little bit better. Yeah. But I hadn't moved in, in four days. Yeah. The, 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 yeah, I wasn't going out of a quick short trot to a toilet. And so we went to, out to the beach and they went out and had a really cool time. Uh, we went out at low tide. <laughs> it's a two miles walk. <laughs> the beach road getting into it, it is not improved. It, 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 it hasn't been improved in probably 30 years. Yeah. Um, most of it's washed out and so uh, you got half mile walk into the beach and then the tidal flats here in the Philippines are, so, like, are, are really wide, wide and shallow yeah and so when the tide goes down the water line goes way, way out. out yeah yeah so when it was at a, a, a very low tide which made it kind of cool because the the shelves the the islands are on shelves here yeah. but they've got a really wide long uh tidal flat and then a wall yeah and dong knew that we liked to, to snorkel and scuba 
And so he took us out to some place where it was going to be really, that, that wall was going to be right there where it was in snorkeling range. Yeah, but it was mighty. By the time I got there, it was a mile from the beach. And by the time I got there, I, I was, there was no way I was going in. And it was also muddy and murky or, you know, so I tried to do the snorkeling and I cannot see any because it's the wind, it's so windy, so yeah, yeah. it's a good exercise, it's a good experience, there's just memories in there too because... Oh, we did, everybody had a lot of fun yep. and Sunday at this point tentatively we're going to... We don't know because we need, we, we actually tried to... Um, check it out but today is an errand day so yeah today's winding up being an errand day and we were gonna go check out what's going on Buntag. Buntag. <laughs> that uh yeah we're out in a field it's so, so. <laughs> it's nice. also kind of a, a main thoroughfare <laughs> uh, i'm expecting a trike to come through here anytime too <laughs> but uh we, we were supposed to go down and check it out, and today, yesterday, I was kind of stove up from, from the walk. Yeah. The the back so, was really bad. We'll see sore. how it goes today, because today is an errand day, so. We and we were supposed to go down and check it out, but we haven't. So, yeah. we we we're tentatively supposed to go down on Sunday. Hopefully, we will. Yeah, but we'll see. Because today we're gonna go some errands and a lot of. Because you have your to do list. Yeah, I'm starting to write out a to-do list to, to get it's stuff done and to get to be organized. Productive. I, I had to do them back in the U.S. to to keep on task. Yeah, I, I am horrible with that. Yeah, the last update that we will share you was a uh, couple days ago too. We have uh, we did have Papa medical checkup, the laboratory exam, and so yeah. and so forth. And uh, yeah, we found out before that he has a uh, diabetic and blood, high blood pressure and high cholesterol and he has some medication that he needs to maintain and a month from now we will um have another test laboratory test to check his um yeah see how well everything's yeah. doing yeah and then yeah. three months from the day we'll have another <laughs> cholesterol so we will keep you posted and how much the cost after all of that um a, ci a, a filipino citizen here in the philippines without insurance and, and in a private hospital. Yeah, we're going to a private hospital. We're, we're not going to the... Public because yeah. we want like everything taken care and you know the facilities and the equipments and you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, the... Because we've been to a public hospital before and we know the situation and with this pandemic or with this situation right now so we just want to make sure Papa's health will be addressed you know and the cost so far it, it hasn't been cheap yeah but it hasn't been anywhere as even remotely Probably. close to what you would pay in the u.s yeah it especially just, for self self pay yeah it happened that we supposed to have papa papa's teeth pulled and dentures but and we'll get we'll get more into that whole story as it go as we do the video on papa's uh health issues and yeah uh, share the the cost on that one probably at right after his next appointment, appointment. in December yeah so uh, he, so look for that video coming out and that that's gonna give you a really good deal a uh, really good idea on what yeah Philippines medical expenses are for, for some of the more common ailments that expats would come over here with yeah and it's something that I'm gonna have to look at a little bit later yeah you know, uh, in a few years or keep an eye on yeah it's a, a very good doctor and a very good hospital so I will recommend it, her and then if I find like other issues we we have connection or you know like yeah. hey they have recommendation another doctor that would help this so that's a good that thing bamboo grapevine. <laughs> yeah so that's a good thing and what's the last update we want to share to everyone that we've talked about it a couple times uh, I originally was gonna do a, a, a oh, process, process video, yeah, and just never materialized for a few reasons because it was kind of a, a con more convoluted than I expected. Yeah, but we're gonna share just the the pros and cons and the thought process we went through on getting the 13A visa. Yeah, so the pros when I read. Uh, yeah, I, I got notes. Yeah. It goes back to that memory thing, keeping on task. Memory shirt. Can you see it? No, I can't. Oh. 
Um, my eyes are old and it's bright and there, there's yeah don't bear with me here oh because i put it dark max out the brightness of the screen there you go okay can you see now there we go i can see a little better <laughs> uh that the the pros we came up with that it's easy to go yeah there's no time limit on your stay you can travel alone yeah uh you can use a one-way ticket which is sometimes a benefit uh and you have permanent resident status, and we'll talk about that one in a minute. Yeah. The biggest cons we could come up with is that you pay an exit fee, and uh, you have to do an annual reporting, and I'm like, a, you have to do an annual reporting for the ACR card you get. Yes, and the other- And I'm like a normal ACR card that you do an annual report in the month you got it, the permanent residents do their annual reporting in the first 60 days of the year, basically January, February. Yeah. So here's another question for you. Does the card expire? So do you need to renew okay, it? Okay, and th this is one confusion th that a lot of people have. Once when you get the 13A visa, the visa itself never expires. It is a permanent visa. Yeah. As long as you don't do something stupid and, and get it revoked, Yeah. the visa itself never expires. Yeah. How about the card? The 13A, car, the, the, the permanent resident ACR card expires every five years. And that's true whether or not you get the, the standard one that tourists get, or you get the, the permanent one that the, the 13A and a few other yeah. visas can get. That the card expires every five years. Yeah. And it's actually the card that you're going back and doing the annual reporting for. Yeah. That it's alien certificate of registration. ACR. Yes. And I'm 98% certain that's what it stands for. If it, it stands is. for something else, that's, I'll I'll put it in the title. That's the put a one. But and that's the one goofy thing on that one is uh, we've got other friends that are expats on tourist visas. Yeah. And they go and do their annual report in the month they got their car. Yeah. If you got it in August, you the following August you have to go down and do a, a report. The permanent resident cards are gold instead of the white. Yeah. And you, your reporting date is the first 60 calendar days of the year. Yeah. Basically January, February. And so you have to be in country and present yourself to the uh, uh, Bureau of Immigration to do your annual report, annual check-in sometime in January, February. So if you haven't moved here yet, like we hadn't, you do have to come back in country and do your annual reporting. Yeah. I almost skipped this year's because we were gonna be moving here in May. Yeah. And there's like a, it would have been about a $50 fine. That there's like 22,000 pesos a month or something like that. Yeah. That trike that I was talking about coming through is on its way, so. We're get, we may get interrupted here in just a second. But, uh, Hi, Kuya. Makagi na kaya? Uh, the other con to it, like I say, is you get the, it's the same fee that a Filipino has to pay to, to leave country. Yeah. And now that you got Philippine citizenship, you're going to have to pay that this time. Yes, I do. Uh, well, you've always had Philippine citizenship when you came to the country. Yeah, but when I go out, I use uh, American, so I will not pay. <laughs> well, no, because you won't have an entry stamp on your passport. No. Oh, well, we'll figure that one out next time we leave. Uh, That's actually it. The biggest benefits, like I say, is you can come alone. Yeah. Uh, and, and a big part of the reason we got it is, like with Papa right now, that, that we knew health issues were going to be yeah. on the horizon. And when we got it, Papa was looking like he may be having some health okay, issues a couple years issues. ago. Yeah. And that was something we talked about and decided that it would be easier for me, because I'm already retired, to buy a plane ticket and leave yeah. and with her still working especially in school yeah that may not be a possibility and so 
it was just simpler for me to get the, the ACR and that way I could go on a one-way ticket without having to do round trip and, and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Uh, it, at that point in time, it wouldn't have been terribly difficult for me to get in country, but I would have done it as a tourist visa. I would have had a round trip ticket and other requirements. With a 13A, none of that was a problem, just come in. Yeah. Uh, and getting it in the U.S. was not that big of a challenge. That It was actually a pretty simple procedure. Uh, but the, the one heads up that we got, and you do need to be aware of, is when you get everything approved in the U.S., when you hit the Philippines, you have 10 days? 14 days. 14 days to complete the process that we didn't realize that. That you've got to go to a Bureau of Immigration and you're going to spend a big day. Uh, we did in Manila between Bureau of Immigration, Bureau of Quarantine, uh, Bureau of Immigration. Yeah. Uh, and, and there's a few more fees that they're not horribly significant. Uh, the Bureau of Quarantine thing needs to be done within 60 days of your original uh, physical uh, that you took in the U.S. to get the visa. So you, you need to do this in a certain time frame. Yeah. And then there was like a two week wait afterwards before I got my ACR card. So even after you've done the US thing, you still got a little bit to do here when you first arrive. But it's not that big of a deal. Uh, and then once when you do it, you're, you're done for a year until you have to go report. Yeah. So that's actually about it. Yep. And yeah, the sun's getting kind of bright. It's hot. And it's getting warm, so we're actually going to cut this off because I think we're well over our 20-minute uh, time limit. So, Mabuhai! Mabuhai.